is what is up YouTube and in this video I am going to be showing you all my bowling gear that I use and as well as my whole arsenal. So uh I haven't I know I've been post I didn't post all last week because I was busy and it was Thanksgiving and I just didn't post that week, but I'm back again with more videos, and I'll be showing you all my bowling walls and all the gear that I use while I bowl a tournament or just go bowl. And I have nine bowling balls. I have more than that, but I don't use those ones, uh, maybe because mostly because the fingers don't fit and all that, and probably most likely the weight too. So first, I'll show you guys what what I use for my fingers and all that. I'll show you that first. And I got my backpack. Right here. I'm going to show you guys what I have. So first I use these Storm shoes. Yeah, they're just bowling shoes. They're interchangeable so you can like... Right, I'll show you. So they're interchangeable so that if you're sticking or slipping, you can use different pads if you wanted to. And yeah, so if you're slipping or sticking, you change. Like The lower the number is, the more or less you'll slide. So I have an S4 and an S2. Because... This past tournament I went to was really it was pretty slippery. Then what I use while I bowl is I use a uh, rosin bag. This is not the uh, big one; it's just a regular puff ball, and it's starting to die out because it's kind of empty. And I use a chamois as well to wipe off all the oil on my ball, and it has Wichita State University and my name on it. And depending on the wind condition, I'll use an Aberlon pad every once in a while. I have a whole bunch of those. And now for the tape and stuff that I use as well. I use vice tape. I use the blue one. Hara. Hara patch. And then I have this brush that I don't really use much. And I have all kinds of junk in here like extra sliding pads. Uh, oops. Extra sliding pads. Um, Aberlon pads. Thumb, uh, tape for my thumb. And then just all kinds of stuff like Neosporin and all that. In case my fingers rip, because my fingers rip a lot. Have some scissors just in case. And I have this rosin bag. This is like a real rosin bag. Like it's really a lot of powder in it. Like an extra rosin bag. There's a whole bunch of junk in here. So that's pretty much it for that stuff. Now I'll just show you guys my whole arsenal. So these first uh, three or four that I'm going to show you that I use the most, like for leagues and what I pull out of my bag first at a tournament. This first one is a Roto Grip Hypercell. Ooh. I throw 15. Uh, just recently this summer I started throwing 15. I'll get one of these ball cups so that it doesn't move around. I use this Roto Grip Hypercell and I have a I'm not sure what the layout is, but I got the, the dot right here and the pin up here. So it's a pin up ball. And this is what I usually would uh, throw first on the lanes, usually no matter what. Unless it's a short pattern, then I'll use something else. But this is a good ball. I got it used on eBay for like 30 something bucks and 15 pounds, and I really like it. Um, I've been bowling really well with it uh, so far. I need to get it like detox or whatever it's called to get all the oil out of it because this sucks up oil really really fast and I should do that because I haven't done it yet and I've had this for maybe almost two or three months maybe so this is the first one out of my bag on a short medium and not short but medium or long pattern that is the first one out and right here hooks it hooks a little more oh I forgot so this one is a high hooking ball this one will hook a lot that's why I wouldn't use it on a short pattern first out and it hooks a lot, but not really for me that much, probably because I have to get the oil out of it. Because if you don't get the oil out of it every once in a while, it will start to lose power and not hook as much. This one hooks a little more. It's a pearl ball. The cover stock is pearl. This is the Crux, Storm Crux Pearl. And I this is probably one of my oldest. I got two at the same time last year, and these two are the oldest. You'll see the other one coming up. This is, I got this... Beginning of 2015. It's old, but I still use it a lot. And it's still a great ball. And like I said, you have to like get the oil out of it and all that. I've never done that to any of my balls except for one of them. And this one, I did this once when I first got it. 
But yeah, this is still a great ball. I keep this because I have two three ball tote bags and it's usually this one, this one, and the next one coming up. And this is a really great ball. I've had it for a long time and it still works good. It still goes in the pocket with some power. And nothing too special about it that I did with it. Like, I never did anything extraordinary with this ball. And this ball I got for my birthday last year. This is the Storm Lock. Oh, and by the way, the, the Hypercell, the first one is a 15. This Crux is a 14. And this is a 14 as well. It is a lock. Uh, it hooks a lot. Probably because this, this is the only one I really detoxed or whatever it's called. And after that, it hooked a little more. And then it started hooking more and more as I used it. And I don't know why. And the layout on this Crux is the same as the Hypercell pinup. This one has the pin on the ring finger, which is pretty weird because if you look inside the in here You can see where the pin ends And this is a good ball. I really like this ball. I don't use it much because It's not really uncontrollable, but it's unpredictable I should say it's it's a good ball, but it's a little um Unpredictable for me, but I still use it a lot and it's still a good ball on my last tournament in the in a team event that I did, I used this ball and I did pretty well. Uh, I forgot what pattern it was. I think it was Big Big Ben, I think, or something like that. I don't remember. It was, it was big. I know Saturday one of the patterns was Big Ben, but I don't know the other one. This is a great ball. I got it. It's usually like a dull cover stock, but then it would because uh, before, like last year, I crank it a lot and it make the ball hook a lot. But then I got it polished, and then it didn't hook at all, and then I put sand on it again, and now it works fine. And this next one is my newest new ball. So my newest, newest ball is the Hypercell, the first one that I showed you, but I didn't buy it new. This is my newest ball that I bought brand new. The Storm Fights. And as you probably know, I am a fan of Storm and Roto Grip. And this one is a fight. It is a medium to high hooking. And the past three I showed you are high hooking. This is a medium high. So it'll hook a little less than those. But it still will have a lot of uh, hook potential. And usually it's like a dull. But just recently I polished it because it hooked a lot. Because I have a really strong drilling. And as you can see the pin is right above the ring finger. If it's closer it is to the ring finger the more it will hook. So it hooks a lot. And then I got it polished and now it, it's perfect. I, I really like it now that it's polished. And for some reason this one fits a lot different than my other ones. I think the span is a little bit farther apart or something. It just feels different. And it's a storm fight. It came out this year in like the spring and it's a good ball. I don't use it that much because like I said the span is a little weird and it, it's not very comfortable. But I still use it when it, when I need to. But I don't usually use it when I want to, but sometimes I will. This one is the f is a ball that is out of the Storm and Roto Grip Association. This is an, an old ball. It's from 2012. Uh, Motive Raptor Talon. My coach, he actually gave this one to me uh, in like the summer, maybe in, maybe in June. He gave it to me. And he said it only had about 10 games on it, so I said, sure, why not? And I didn't really change anything about it. I kept the layout pin up. And I just, um, as you can see, this part is a different color. This is where his thumb was. And then my pro shop, the guy that does my uh, balls, he filled the hole in and drilled in another different hole closer to the finger so it fits me better. And it's really good. I like it. It's really good for maybe a short, maybe around 35 feet or something like that. It doesn't really hook a lot. I thought it would hook more. But it's really good for a short pattern, especially when uh, when you get later in the games and you start to want to get a little bit of angle and like my urethane or whatever doesn't work, I want to get a little bit of angle. This this ball is perfect for me. And all these other ones, they have a, they hook late, so they'll go down pretty far and then start to hook. This one is my only ball that hooks early, so it picks up and starts to hook a lot earlier than these other ones I showed you. And... Well, these ones are kind of low hooking, so they'll hook early too. But this is my only reactive one that hooked pretty early. And my coach gave this one to me, and it's really nice. Uh, this is a 15-pound as well. And that red one that I showed you last, that, that, one, that one's red. 
Uh, is the red one? That one's a 15 pound too. This one is the old one too. Like when I said when I showed you this Crux one, uh, I had it for a long time and it's really old. This one's old too. This one is these two. This one and that Crux are my oldest. Are the ones that are the oldest? Well, the ones I've had the longest, but the Raptor is the oldest from like 2012 or something. But this one is a low medium, so it's not a, it's not for a low medium ball though. It does hook a lot and it has a pin up. Most of my bowling balls are pin up. I don't have a pin down ball. But this one hooks a lot too and my hand hasn't grown a lot since 2015 so I just had to get like maybe bigger inserts and the thumb hole a little bit bigger but the span is uh, perfectly fine for me. And this is kind of like an entry ball like most beginner bowlers will get this but it's still good for people that are more advanced and want a low hooking ball for short patterns or short to medium length patterns and not too much to say about this one I haven't done anything really spectacular with this one either oh and this one let me get ooh, this raptor talon this motor ball this is what I bowled my 300 with in the summer I bowled this um, I used this the well my 300 game I have actually of the things right here as you can see there you can see like the tape that I used that day and then my parents got me this money thing it says 300 on it and the date and everything it was 8 24 2016 at 12 19 p.m. so it was in the afternoon it was and while I was bowling that 300 game I bowled a 700 series with it Ooh. So I built a 200, then a 201, then 300. So that I got a 700 series and a 300 game, which is cool. Put that back. So yeah, this is what I bowled my 300 game with. Now these last three are my low hooking balls. Like I would use them for a short pattern. And this one that I'm about to show you, they have this is the third ball that Storm has made. For this model ball, they made the pitch red, then the pitch black, and then the pitch blue. I have the pitch blue, and the pitch black is a really popular ball. And the pitch black was really popular. A lot of people use it. And more people are starting to switch over to the pitch blue, because the pitch black is pure urethane, and this one is a pearl urethane. So I don't know how that would compare to the pitch black, a pure urethane, but this still works good, and this layout is the same as that lock. The pin is right in the ring finger. I bought this one pretty recently too, beginning of this year in March. Because it came out March 1st and that's when I bought it. And it's really good, but... Ugh. It used to hook a lot, but now it doesn't anymore. Probably because a lot of oil has been sucked into it. It doesn't hook as much now, but that's good. I didn't want it to hook at all. This one is the Storm Supernatural. This one I got from my coach as well with that mode of gray ball. And this one is really good too. So like if I'm using the pitch blue and it's not like giving the look that I want, this one hooks a little bit more. So this one I would, so if that one's not like maybe hooking enough on a short pattern, like it's really, really weak, I would move to this one and play the same line and it would go perfectly. It would go down there and start, it would gradually hook and then it's... I can't really explain it, but this is a good ball too. This is a 15 pound as well. That pitch blue is a 14. And this one is really, really nice. I really like it. Ooh. And this last one is probably, I don't, I don't, I'm not, this might be my most, most recent ball. Cause I, I'm not sure which one I got first, the hypercell or this, this, um, hammer ball. This is called, uh, so there's a hammer ball that's pretty popular. It's called the Black Widow. They have Black Widow Legend, Black Widow Assassin, Dark Legend. They have like three or four. And they came out with this one that called the Black Widow Spare. So it has the Black Widow core with a polyester shell. So it won't hook as much as a reactive one will. The Black, the Black Widow like Assassin and all that. It has the strong core, but the cover stock is not strong. So it won't hook a lot. 
And this is my least hooking ball out of all of them. This is probably my most recent one. And it is pinup as well. Pinup. And it's a really good ball. I don't use it very much. Because on a short pattern, if I try it, it doesn't hook at all. So I'll probably use this if it's a really short pattern. It's really dry. And I'll use it later in the games. Maybe third or fourth game or something like that. And this is the last one of my ball. So I'll put all my balls up here and show you all of them. And as you can see, I have all my bowling balls here. One of them that doesn't really fit in frame. So I'm just going to go over each name one more time before I end this video. Roto Grip Hypercell, Storm Fight, Storm Crux Pearl, Hammer Black Widow Spare, Storm Tropical Breeze, Storm Supernatural, Motive Raptor Talon. You can't really see it, but it's right here. The Lock, and the Storm Pitch Blue. So that's pretty much for this video, guys, and don't forget to leave a like, uh, subscribe. If you're watching this and you're a bowler, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Yeah.